I was not born rich. Uh, I was not privileged enough. I had a very humble background. जब हमने start करी थी तो लोग बोलते थे कि ये क्या कर लेंगे यू नो ऐसा छोटा सा ब्रांड है कुछ नहीं कर पाएंगे और आज सर 2024 सात साल बाद सर वी आर वर्ल्ड सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट सर तो विश्व सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट ऑडियो ब्रांड How did a consumer electronics brand from India started in 2014 become the second largest audio brand in the world? In this video, we will be diving into the journey of Bot, which began when two enterprising individuals, Aman Gupta and Samir Mehta, met. Aman, with a knack for marketing and an ear for music, had ventured into the audio world with his previous stint at JBL and his family's hardware business. Samir, ready to disrupt the status quo. brought his entrepreneurial spirit and a strong background in production and finance together they aimed to build a brand that resonated with the youth by combining durability great sound quality and affordability despite their impressive backgrounds aman and samir faced challenges while raising funds in a market dominated by chinese manufacturers undeterred they invested about 30 lakhs of their own money to start boat initially focusing on iphone charging cables before expanding into audio devices Boat benefited from industry shifts like Jio's disruption of mobile internet, smartphone manufacturers removing headphone jacks, and the launch of Apple's first generation AirPods. This could actually serve as a great example of explaining the butterfly effect. Boat set two clear objectives as a brand. Firstly, to be recognized as a lifestyle brand, distinguishing itself from being merely a gadget company. And secondly, to understand that the true strength of a brand lies in cultivating a loyal fan base this approach is reflected in how they affectionately refer to their loyal customers as boat heads and frequently highlight their tagline plug into nirvana to foster a sense of community and identity amongst its users their first major audio device was a bass heavy headset and the decision to manufacture this came from a simple consumer insight bass is a major part of indian music and hence the creation of a bass headphone now let's look at some of the interesting marketing strategies that they adopted to scale their brand number 1 leveraging e-commerce platforms for growth in 2016 the e-commerce landscape in india began to boom significantly to give you more perspective flipkart had initiated its big billion days festival just 2 years earlier both leveraged platforms like amazon flipkart mintra and jabong to market their products In fact, until 2020, they did not venture into selling products on their own website, maintaining a razor sharp focus on building their relationship and brand presence within these e-commerce marketplaces. Currently, Boat ranks number 1 in Flipkart's brand awareness index for the personal audio category and number 5 in the wearable category. Number 2, celebrity endorsements. Boat heavily invests in enlisting actors and cricketers as their brand ambassadors. Celebrities like Ranveer Singh, Karthik Aryan and Kiara Adwani are amongst those who endorse Boat. A few of these stars were relatively early in their acting careers when Boat decided to partner with them. Additionally, recognizing that cricket is an integral part of India and the IPL draws millions of viewers, Boat has also partnered with popular cricketers like Shikhar Dhawan, Jasprit Bumrah, Rishabh Pant and Prithvi Shaw. successfully capturing the attention of young audience number 3 boats brand collapse boat understands the taste of their target audience for instance they have launched special edition products featuring branding themes from rcb kkr marvel and even netflix the soul store one of india's top d2c fashion brands has already leveraged such theme based products with special edition t-shirts sneakers and has built a solid brand for boat Adopting this strategy seems like a no-brainer, especially considering their target audience. Number four, entering booming markets. The last couple of years have been great for India in terms of market boom for TWS and wearables. In 2023, the TWS and wearables market in India grew by 34%. Boat offers a range of products to cater to the needs of this audience. In the smartwatch category, they have products ranging from rupees thousand to rupees ten thousand. In the TWS space, they offer products ranging from rupees thousand to rupees five thousand. Boat holds a market share of twenty six percent in the Indian TWS space and twenty nine point two percent in the wearable space. They are now also focusing on the gaming and the personal care segments with the launch of Red Gear and Misfit some brands. Number five, partnership strategy. 
board's partnership strategy showcases a smart blend of collaboration across different sectors to broaden its market reach and reinforce brand visibility. The brand recently partnered with LNT Finance, providing a free smartwatch with every two-wheeler loan, a mutually beneficial arrangement. In the entertainment space, board's marketing campaign with Netflix places it right in front of a vast audience of streaming enthusiasts, enhancing brand recall. Similarly, its partnership with Reliance Digital, introducing 3D hologram projections in retail, underscores Board's commitment to innovative customer experiences. In sports, Board solidified its presence by partnering with IPL teams, Royal Challengers Bangalore and Gujarat Titans as their official audio and wearable partner, tapping into the cricket fever that captivates millions in India. Moreover, sponsoring events like the Sunburn Music Festival aligns Board with the music and entertainment scene, connecting with youthful and energetic audience. These strategic collaborations across finance, entertainment and sports enable Board not just to expand its user base but also cement its identity as a versatile lifestyle brand in the modern consumer's life. Personally, I am excited about Board as a company as they have had quite a great journey as a lifestyle-focused consumer electronics brand. In financial year 2023, Board clocked around 4,000 crores in revenue. They have managed to stay profitable for the last 8 years. However, the last financial year, they also reported a loss of 129 crores due to increasing spending in advertising and business development. Both recently committed to Make in India initiative, enhancing its domestic production, with 70% of its audio and wearables now manufactured locally in partnership with Dixon Technologies. It celebrated a milestone of producing 1 million Make in India units in a single quarter, underscoring its commitment to domestic manufacturing. With that, we come to the end of this episode of Scale by Airtribe. If you have used both products or you happen to be a fan of Aman Gupta as a shark, do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, this is Namneet signing off.